Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Hey y'all, hey. To the mom, nurse, and fashionista. Welcome. So, I first want to start off before I get started on this wonderful video. Matter of fact, I'm giving myself some time because um, I have somewhere to be today. I'll get into that, more into that. But I first want to start off by saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my new subscribers. I have over 300 subscribers and I just want to say thank you. Um, I have revamped this channel as you see for the first couple of 200 um subscribers my old channel was working with what you got because that's what i'm all about working with what you got but i wanted to rebuild my channel because i want to show nurses moms and anybody that is a woman that despite our failures despite any obstacles despite how many kids we have if we have help or don't have help i don't have anybody to help us with our kids that we could still do the doggone thing okay so as you see i have a new logo and i went on and made a logo for myself the stethoscope is around my logo because it represents who i am a nurse i'm a mom first a nurse and a fashionista always so i just wanted to come on here and just thank y'all before we get started on this great video that i have for y'all um also this video is going to be so informative i hope y'all stick around to the end because i have some great great jobs Okay, so this video, I will try not to make it fast. I am working on talking slower, <laughs> but I want to first start off by saying if you are a mom, if you are um, maybe want some extra money, you're a tired nurse, you're a nurse that's looking for a little extra cash. If you're a mom that's now on bed rest, I dealt with that when I was pregnant with the twins. I didn't have a job because I was on bed rest. If you are a mom that's on medical leave far as for postpartum because you just had your baby and you still need some money or you don't want to put your baby in daycare but you still want some money you don't have a sitter whatever your circumstances are this video is for you okay the first job i'm going to start off with is the job that i'm doing now currently finna go to today okay so this job is it isn't a job my sister works for an apartment um, complex a company and it's a big company they have many many different apartment complexes here in Jacksonville Florida and they have different events quarterly which I think is so awesome they do so much for their residents and they also wanted a medical professional to come out and do like a blood pressure drive when my sister asked me that I was like heck yeah and so I'm getting ready to go do that later on this evening before I go to the grocery after I go to the grocery store and after I pick my kids up for early release date <laughs> you know a mother's job is never done okay and drop serenity off to get a hair braided all that before i go do that okay so anyway i on the side sometimes quarterly which i'm currently getting ready to do this for another apartment complex that's through their company um i was referred out so always carry yourself professionally and accordingly I was referred out to another apartment complex and they want me to come out and do a blood pressure drive today. So what I do, I, I take the um, residents blood pressure and if they want to discuss anything with me, they can, I, you know, I educate them on the importance of blood pressures. Okay. But that's basically what I do. Um, I, I ask them, you know, I just talk to them cause I love community nursing. So, you know, I just talk to them, see if they already on blood pressure medicines, how long have, you know, they been on blood pressure medicine. Are they eating right? That's just me. I'm not trying to be like their doctor or nurse or anything like that. I just, like to know those those type of things and you know but always be careful on what you suggest you know always make sure you let them know to always go back to their doctor and refer back to their doctor for other um important information my next job is what i was before i started doing what i'm doing now i'm currently a home um health nurse where i do private cases in the home and i'm working for hospice okay so right now um before i got that job I was working for a home health agency as a telehealth nurse. This is another work from home job. Now, before I got, I got called for this job. They sought me out. They found my resume on Indeed. Hey, that was God. I had applied for a work from home position because I had the girls and they were always in and out of the doctor's office. I have four girls. Something was always going on with one of them always sick. So I wanted a job where I could like be home and it would be flexible. 
So I signed up, I applied for a work from home job as a telehealth nurse where I would be monitoring diabetic patients. And this was like three years ago. So I can't remember the exact, the exact, you know, job description, but you basically was monitoring your patients that were diabetics that was having home um dialysis nowadays patients can get dialysis received at home yes thank god for technology so i got a call from a home health agency and they were like hey we want to see if you're interested in this telehealth position and i was like yes yes because i'm thinking this was the same telehealth position but it was actually for our home health agency and what i did for, um for the telehealth nurse position i had Okay, so I had amount, a certain amount of patients. They, their doctor would refer them to the telehealth program. I would be monitoring their blood pressure. They were for patients that had hypertension, COPD, or maybe they were having syncope, um, syncope episodes, um, or maybe they were having tachycardia episodes, and their nurse wanted them or the doctor wanted them to be put on this program. I would monitor them seven days a week. So I was the, the telehealth nurse. Okay, so Monday through Friday, I worked in the office and I worked from home on the weekends. I worked from home on holidays. I worked from home if my kids got sick. Um, I worked from home. I, I worked seven days a week. For real. On the weekends, I monitored them for a couple of hours. Um, when my kids were sick and out, I was able to monitor them from home. And you're always in front of the computer. That was a great job. Type in telehealth nurse. Telehealth medicine is becoming so popular. Type it in. It's awesome. Okay. Thirdly, you can also work for an insurance company from home. Answering the calls. You ever have an insurance company and on a the letter they may say, we have 24-hour nurse hotline. Call your nurse if you have a question about this. Call your nurse if you have a question about that. That can be you, girl. A oh, boy. Hey. So you have your kids at home. Make sure they're quiet. And you could talk to your patients or your clients from home, okay? Now, you may ask, well, what do you need to set up? When I had the telehealth um, position, I didn't have to have anything out my pocket. They provided, except a cell phone, but they paid a percentage of that every month. And they provided the laptop for me. Now, every agency or company is different. So it depends on the company. Okay. But remember you can work for insurance companies. You can actually work from home. Okay. Aetna does it. Prudential does it. Those are two off the top of my head. Stay well does it. Uh, insurance company through Medicaid. It's so much we can do. We just have to get out there and research. I'm going to tell y'all something. I literally typed in work from home nurse positions. I would type in anything, baby, if I have a question or worry to try to find a job. Okay. So that's another job you can do. You can also work, and this is for nurses now. You can also work for a company called, y'all, I'm going to put it across the screen. Um, I just, my mind just went so blank. Like it's on the tip of my tongue. Like I can see it, but it's a financial company. Oh God, Liberty Mute. No, it's, it's at the top of my tip of my tongue, y'all. But this company, you actually are, um, teaching people and encouraging them to get life insurance. Now we all know what nursing entails. We have where our patient push and pregnancy begins life, labor and delivery. That's life bringing life in the world. We also have hospice or maybe when our patient pass the end of care. Okay. End of life care. Then while our patient is going through inner life care, we have to make sure our patients understand, okay, what's entailed with that life insurance, okay? Who's going to pay for your funeral expenses or who's going to take care of your bills or your kids once you pass, okay? So that's another company that you can work for. I will leave the person that I know that works for this company, her information to me because she is down below in the description box. Check her out. Call her. That's another position you can definitely work for. You work your own hours. You work about 20 hours a week. You get paid good. And you could do that as a side job. You could bring your kids with you. Hey, let's meet you and your clients and your baby is with you. Your kids are with you. That's another awesome job, okay? Another job, all nurses want to be beautified and fine, baby. Because guess what? When we get out of these scrubs, we still going to look good. We, if you if you like me. Now, when I'm in the home, I don't look like this. But when I was on the floor, I looked like this. Because that's just how I like to look. That's just me. On a good day, when I had a good night's sleep, 
and now I have four kids. So things are a little different. <laughs> but for the most part, I like to look up the par because that makes your patient feel good. When they're in the bed and they sick or they down or their family down and they see you walk through that door and you lively and you looking up the par and you looking professional, baby, they like to see that, okay? So another job that you could do is selling jewelry. We all heard of paparazzi, the $5 accessories, okay? You can also work for that company as well. I will leave the wonderful Miss Clay information down below in the description box. Hit her up on Facebook and she can direct you into that direction for working for paparazzi. Okay. Also, I want to give a shout out to the young man that did my shirt here. He has done, um, if you look at my profile picture, I have a shirt on and that picture. He has done that shirt as well. He's awesome. He's very professional. Okay. So those are jobs off the top of my head that are awesome for work from home. I want you to go on your computer, get your resume up on indeed.com because I have people to this day texting me about jobs and calling me and I'm like, how you get my number? And then one of my um, girlfriends who I went to LPN school with, she's not LPN, go girl, go. And she, um, I was telling her about it and stuff. Memorial Hospital emailed me, y'all, for Arian on the site hiring at the hospital because they found my resume online. Now, I don't know why they didn't read my resume. I don't have anywhere on there about I'm Arian, okay? Not yet, boo, but keep my name and number <laughs> and email. <laughs> but I'm telling you, put yourself out there, y'all. Don't be shy. You're going to be shy, or you may not be, but you got to get over that because... When you're in a room with your patients and their family, it's just you like, they looking at you like, oh, I'm the nurse. <laughs> also, another job, use your skill. I want you to sit down and think of all the skills you're good at. All the skills you're good at. I, I love blood pressure. That's what I'm going to do today. I love teaching CNAs. I did that. Check my other video out. I did that as a job. But you could teach CNAs on the side. Like you could do that on the side. You can tutor on the side. Whatever you're good at and passionate about, you will make a difference in someone's life. Do that on the side for some extra coinage, okay? You can do that. I'm telling you, these are different jobs you could do. You could bring your kids with you. Say, sit down somewhere. I bring my oldest and my middle child with me when I do my blood pressure screenings. And it's awesome because they see mommy working with the community. They are learning. Like, my girls know how to do CPR and take a blood pressure. Like, they are learning, okay? And then they may not be nurses. I'm not going to try to force them to be nurses or doctors. But I want them to know and have an idea and see that it's an awesome career and you make a difference in someone's life, you know? So, write down your skills what you're good at and what you're passionate about because it makes a difference we could be good at something but we may not be passionate and it'll show from your client and write it down and be like okay i'm gonna hustle and i'm gonna be like hey you know i heard you want to be a cna i could teach you that you know oh you want to learn cpr i could teach you that that's another side job you also get certified as a cpr instructor and then you will be able to teach on the side you can do this go to so many comp you can just go to so many companies you can teach your family they can pay you for that your church your kids school you know you just get a group of people want to get certified as for cpr i mean it's a good money making a good money making career we can do so much with our nursing license not just working in hospitals and facilities okay that's not all you can do with your nursing license you can do so much if your um schedule allows for it do it do it man don't don't be scared i'm gonna tell y'all something i do get nervous i just get like that i think it's more anxiety like you're anxious about the what else don't let that doubt stop you from doing something if somebody reach out to you it's for a reason because they see something in you in you <laughs> so don't do that you know don't doubt yourself okay now if you have any questions on any more information about the jobs that i discussed please leave them below i also have a video on 10 jobs that are perfect for nurses perfect for single moms and i say that because they're flexible jobs and you can get your kids to school and you can get to work get off and still go get your kids because i know the struggle i did it for three years so um also leave a comment if you have a question about anything else what kind of videos y'all want to see because i have a list of videos in my head that i would love to do focused around nursing focused around mom life how to balance all this focused around looking good while doing it because that's what i'm about all day every day i have always been like this y'all this is just me i'm just prissy i can't help it i get it from my mom and granny 
<laughs> but if you have any questions or ideas on videos or anything you want to see, make sure you leave them below and subscribe. Because if you're not subscribed to my channel, you're not going to know when I'm putting this good information out. I want to help my moms. I'm here for my moms and I'm here for my ladies. Okay. I love the men too, but I'm really here for these mamas and these ladies because we need all the help we can get. We need to stick together. We have to stick together. So, Make sure you subscribe and also hit the notification bell. It's a subscribe red button at the bottom. And it's also a bell next to it. Hit that. Also, if you have a comment, hit the comment and type away. If you like this video, hit the like button and share it. Because a lot of people need to know this information, y'all. A lot of people need to know this information. So share the video as well. I have to go so I can get to these girls' school. And so I can um, check on the meat that's in the crock pot. Follow me on Instagram. You can get a behind the scenes of my life. I'm always on Instagram and Facebook. And you can really get to see my stories and how I balance everything. Because this is crazy. Life is crazy with kids. Life is crazy when you're trying to do something something for mama when mama trying to do something for her life but also have to raise a you know a household so make sure you subscribe to my channel and share my videos and i thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all oh it was my birthday last week <laughs> so um always um make sure you stay true to yourself and don't give up on your goals boo don't give up on your goals even if you got to do one class at a time do it make a difference for you and your kids but for you thank y'all till next time bye